In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the volume of cuboids. Now, cuboids are three-dimensional cube-like shapes. The shape on the left is called a cube, and the shape on the right is called a rectangular prism. And both shapes are classified as cuboids. Now, volume is the amount of physical space a three-dimensional object takes up. So, how do we calculate the volume of a cuboid? Well, the short answer to that question is length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So, the product of these three factors is the volume of the shape. So, let's dive a little bit deeper into what that means. In our first example, we're going to calculate the volume of a cube with a length of three centimeters. Now, each of the six faces of a cube are the same size. So this means the width and the height of the cube will also be three centimeters. Now to calculate the volume of a cube, we use the formula capital B multiplied by H. Now, capital B stands for the area of the base of the three-dimensional shape. Now, the base of the three-dimensional shape is the two-dimensional shape that is at the bottom of the figure. And as you can see, since the three-dimensional shape is a cube, the base shape would have to be a square. So, now that we know what the base shape of the cube is, let's calculate the area of that base shape. Now, if calculating area is not something you're familiar with, I recommend that you watch my video on calculating area of polygons first. So, to calculate the area of a square, we use the formula L multiplied by L, which stands for length multiplied by length. So that is the length of the bottom of the square, three centimeters, multiplied by the length of the side or height of the square, also three centimeters. And three centimeters multiplied by three centimeters equals nine centimeters squared. So nine centimeters squared is the area of the base shape of the cuboid. Now, this is important because the area of the base shape is what the capital B represents and the formula for the volume of the cuboid. So capital B base is nine centimeters squared. And now that we've calculated the area of the base shape, we need to multiply this by the height of the cuboid. And remember, the length and width of the cube is three centimeters, so the height is also three centimeters. So let's place that into our formula. And nine centimeters squared multiplied by three centimeters gives us the volume 27 centimeters cubed. This means that our cube is made up of 27 smaller cubes, which each have a volume of one centimeter cubed. So the number of cubic centimeters that can occupy this cube is equal to 27. This is why our answer is 27 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's calculate the volume of one more cuboid. This time, a rectangular prism with a length of six centimeters, four centimeters wide, and five centimeters high. Now, to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism, we use the same formula we used for the volume of a cube, which is capital B, which stands for base, multiplied by H, which stands for height. And remember, we need to calculate the area of the shape that is at the bottom of our figure, which represents the capital B in our formula. So. What shape do we have at the bottom of our figure? That's right, a rectangle. 
So now that we know what the base shape of the rectangular prism is, let's calculate the area of that shape. And to calculate the area of a rectangle, we use the formula B multiplied by H, which stands for base multiplied by height. So that is the length at the bottom of the rectangle, six centimeters, multiplied by the length of the side or height of the rectangle, four centimeters. And six centimeters multiplied by four centimeters equals 24 centimeters squared. So 24 centimeters squared is the area of the base shape of the rectangular prism. And remember, the area of the base shape is what the capital B represents in the formula for the volume of the rectangular prism. So capital B is 24 centimeters squared. And now that we've calculated the area of the base shape, we need to multiply this by the height of the cuboid. And remember, the height of our rectangular prism is five centimeters. So let's place that into our formula. And 24 square centimeters multiplied by five centimeters gives us the volume of 120 centimeters cubed. So 120 centimeters cubed is the volume of our rectangular prism. And this is how we calculate the volume of cuboids.